You know, it's this sort of a greenhouse scene at the California Spring Trials yeah. that inspires us to keep going. Is Bring that what inspires us? It is. It's not the wine we drink every night. Okay. <laughs> that gets the writing done. Hey, everybody, I'm Chris from Grower Talks. I'm Jen from Grower Talks. And Bill from Tech On Demand. And we are at the Tr California Spring Trials 2023. Specifically, we're in Salinas, California, at the location of Taki, which loans out, or rents out, some of their space to the company Hilverda Florist. Uh, the combination of two companies, Hilverda and Florist, some years yeah. back. Yeah. So we're going to look at, uh, well, Alstromeria right over here, right. some Gerbera, and a few other things in the back. So, Jen, you seem to know a lot about these new Alstromeria. Why don't you tell the folks about them? I saw Give these. Hand, I saw these at Costa. Osvaldo and I saw them at Costa a couple weeks ago, and even though it was like 88 in the sh in the shade, more than that, they actually were flowering. So this one is part of their Summer Paradise series. It's called Summer Heat. And the reason being heat is that it's the most heat tolerant of all of their varieties in the series. It's red with that really nice gold throat. It's You can produce this 14 to 17 weeks without PGRs, which is a great message for growers. And it will bloom from like mid-spring all the way through mm -hmm. frost. It is a zone 7 um, but Mazzano was saying that it's a wintertime plant in the south and a summertime plant in the north. So you could still grow it really anywhere. And that's great because it is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. And there's another Ostromeria over there. This is, a, this is a garden type. And so they, have, uh, they also have potted types that we'll take a look at. Check this out. The photographers are swarming. The Gerbera daisies over here. It's a, we could barely get an, uh, get the corner to show you this new Alstromeria, part of their Intaconcha series. This one's called Sunstar. Uh, all of these are known for their sturdy growth, big flowers. Uh, they're not the fastest thing to grow, 14 to 17 weeks. They like it a little bit cool, but then again, anything with sun in the name, like Sunstar, uh, has some heat tolerance. So uh, pot Alstromeria is something we would all love to see more of mm -hmm. in our garden center. So give those some consideration. What are we going to look at next, Jen? Echinacea. <gasps> oh, I'm in the mood for that. Mo are you in the good mood? I'm in a, such that? a good mood, you have to put three O's in oh, it. Oh my, that's good. Oh, they did. They did. This is Mood's Echinacea, their first year flowering Echinacea series here at Hill Verde Florist. And there are three introductions. Let's show these two first. I'm going to save the last one. On These are the, the taller ones. On the left, we have Mood's Imagination, which is a lovely violet. Looks beautiful with Bill. There yeah. And I have a great imagination. So. <laughs> you do. Yenzi is showing Mood's Devotion, which is this pretty spicy orange to red. And lastly, if you're feeling a little bit jealous, you know, that green-eyed monster, <laughs> jealousy, that's how you remember Mood's Jealousy, which is a green-flowered echinacea. First off, um, they recommend uh, a, a pinch um, right at sticking, um, and it's about a 14-week crop or so. Uh, but again, they're not daylight, daylight sensitive, and so you're going to get first-year flowering. But she said you don't have to pinch them, but they recommend They recommend. They did not, but if you want a really stocky mm -hmm. full plant, pinch those. Let's wrap up with Gerbera, because to me, Hilverda florist, is all about Gerbera, mm -hmm. although we see lots of other varieties. And Jenny's, Jen, Jenny has a really pretty one there in their patio collection. Mm -hmm. This one's called Monteviso, and it's a fully double. It starts out violet, the young ones start violet, and then they uh, turn to white as they mature. And there is a cultural tip for Monteviso and really this whole patio series, and that is to remove that initial bud so that you get that wow flush of flowers. All right, speaking of wow, I seem to be attracted to yellow flowers. This is the second time I've brought a yellow flower into the scene. This one is Garvinia, which is their, their garden mm -hmm. type of Gerbera, great for the landscape, and it is called Sweet Joy. And it replaces Sweet Smile. It's a little more uniform, mm -hmm. they say. So that's uh, Gerbera, Alstromeria. Oh, is this for me? And a bit more, yes, you may have that. Thank you. Just don't let them catch you leaving with it. Uh, Mazzano would give it Anyway, to me. new varieties from Hilverda Florist here at the 2023 California Spring Trials. Now, can you pronounce that one over there? Monteviso. I just said it. It was so easy it's now. two words. You have 47 it's two cuts. two words. And there's no T in well, You know why? No. Because I'm not in no, the moods. Never.